Hi, I'm Ash at Arkham Armoury and today we're going to be putting together the Nordic Helmet Kit. Everything you need to make this helmet is available in our Nordic Helmet Kit which comes in this box. So let's get into it. First of all, inside the box all the parts are already pre-cut and there's handy markings for where things line up as well. So first of all, pop everything out of the sheets. What I like to do is pop all the helmet parts and I'll leave all the bits for the horns until the helmet's built. So that's the sheets with the curved pieces and the pieces that go around the edge, all those ones there. Then we can set that aside. Now with all the pieces popped out, I like to put the pieces for the main bit of the helmet to one side because they're the bits we're going to build first. Don't forget to pop out all the inner bits for the more detailed pieces. The first pieces we're going to need are the four triangular pieces. So get those and get your contact cement. I found that putting it in one of these bottles from the range only a pound each. Really, really handy. To spread out the contact cement, I use scrap bits of foam. There's plenty of leftover foam in the kit, and so you can cut yourself a lot of these ready for all the gluing that we're going to be doing. So we're going to heat form these pieces first and take our, our polystyrene ball. I use some tape um, as a base for it, stop it rolling off the table, heat the pieces up and press them onto the ball until it's cooled and that will give it a nice curve to make the bases of the helmet. I repeat this for all four pieces. So we can set the polystyrene ball to one side. Um, first of all we're going to glue those two pieces to each other. So apply your contact cement along the edge and then use your scrap piece of foam just to brush it out and then do the same with the other side and then give it a couple of minutes until it's gone tacky and then you can start gluing the pieces together after five or so minutes it's gone nice and tacky it's almost dry to the touch and just line up the edges and you can pinch them together on the outside, make sure it's nice and smooth. We'll do that for both pieces. And then it's time to put the two halves together. Again, applying contact cement to the edge and using your scrap piece of foam just to smooth that out. And once it's gone tacky to the touch, we can stick them together. Um, for this bigger curved piece I use the flat of the table um, lining up the one edge and then when you flip it over you can pinch together the outside edge and make sure it's all stuck nicely. Then we just need to heat form the face plate so just heat that up and give it a gentle curve. Then once both pieces are nice and curved we're going to be gluing the centre together so just a small amount of the contact cement to the middle edges. And after a couple of minutes, we can glue it together. These seams will be reinforced later with the nose piece. Just line up where this is going on the front of the helmet and run your glue along both edges. Same as before. And you've applied it to the top of the face plate Flip your helmet part over and go from the halfway seam all the way around to the other half. Smooth that out and then give it a couple of minutes. Start at one end and right on the join and work your way along trying to keep the seam as smooth as possible. It's not the end of the world if it's not perfectly smooth as this will be covered with a piece later on. Okay nose guard is the longest strip out of the three and so we just apply contact cement along the top 
and also on that nose piece uh, smooth it out and then also apply your contact cement to the strip that's going over the top and once that's all dry start at the front and work your way to the back keeping within those lines. Now moving on to the rear of the helmet, we're gonna be gluing these two parts together. So, same process of applying contact cement, giving it a few minutes, and then joining them together. Again, I used the smooth of the table to help these line up. Once that's all glued together, we'll be attaching this to the rear of the helmet. So, again, apply contact cement along edge of the helmet and the edge of the rear piece. And then start at one side, work your way around, making sure all the light seams line up nicely. Once that's on, then we're going to hide this joint with the two other uh, long pieces. Now apply contact cement within your marked lines, smooth that out, apply it to the two strips. They should overlap ever so slightly, um, and once the one's glued in, as you glue in the second one in, we will slice that with our knife. Now that that's gone nice and tacky, start off that centre joint and just work your way along. You can squeeze it together after. Now it's time for the inner back piece. Now place that on, get a sharpie or a marker and just mark where this piece comes to on the inside. Once that's all marked, you can see where you need to apply glue. Apply your contact cement, um, exactly the same as we have done throughout, within your markings and give it a few minutes to set up. And then exactly the same as before, line your piece back up with your markings and press that into place. Now it's on to the detail pieces. Start off with the front of the helmet and to apply contact cement to both pieces. Try and keep within the lines and just keeps it a lot neater when you come to paint it later on. is quite a thin piece so start at the top keeping the bottom part away and you're able to stretch it a little bit into place making sure it lines up with all the markings on the faceplate and then repeat the process for the other side the detail pieces on the top just place them in place mark with a sharpie and then apply your contact cement. You can apply the contact cement to the helmet, to the whole area. It won't matter if the glue is showing in the recessed areas. Apply the glue to the detail piece. And once that's gone tacky, it's time to stick it in place. Make sure once you've got the edges in position to press down all the pieces nice and firmly. Then it's onto the back piece and we repeat the process, just get a sharpie, mark where it comes to, 
and glue up that area. If you do apply too much glue and it's pooling, just scrape some off and use it on the next piece. As you can see, I do here. Um, just applied a little bit too much. So I use my scrap bit of foam and apply that to the detail piece. Once the glue's gone tacky, line it up with your sharpie markings and press that down. Repeat this for the other side and then it's on to the horn attachment. So what we want to do is just take off a little bit of that curve. It doesn't go all the way to the edge. Just put a slight bevel on it and it'll help it form to the helmet better. Once that's beveled, get your heat gun and heat it up and once it's nice and hot, roll it up. You can roll it tighter than it needs to be and then glue those two pieces together. Then apply contact cement to the edge that will be attaching to the helmet and apply a bead where it goes on the helmet. Again, it won't matter if there's any on the inside as you won't be able to see this when it's all together. And then press these in once the glue is set up. And that is the basis of the helmet complete. Now it's on to the horns. So get the box back out. And then just pop out the pieces for the horn. You pair all the pieces together and put them in size order and then take one of each and one of each of the curved pieces and that then is the two separate horns. Then with the heat gun curve these you want the curve going through the middle. So you just pinch along the edge keep going until it's cooled down and you get a nice curve. Repeat this with all of the pieces apply the contact cement to all of the edges, smooth it out as usual and do this to all four pieces ready for gluing together. Gluing the horns together is one of the more tricky parts but luckily all of this will be covered with the outer detail just do it in pairs so the top piece first and then take the smaller pieces glue those tip to tip work that long and now you can glue the two halves together Start at the widest edge, work one edge together, and then do the same for the other side. And there you have your first horn. With the scratches and grooves in the horn details, you can either use a wood burner, your craft knife, or a Dremel. Start off by doing jagged, deep grooves and going along making them various lengths and depths and then go back using faster movements the lighter grooves that aren't as deep and just repeat this process to all the detail pieces that are going on the horn to attach these to the horn 
You see I've already applied contact cement to both pieces and to the edge that joins together you just press these on you can wrap it around mark where it comes to on the horn and then apply your contact cement wait for it to dry and then place them on and just work one at a time it's a time consuming process but the horn at the end looks really good so it's well worth the effort the very first one I did I did attempt to use hot glue for this um, it worked all right but I wouldn't advise it it's uh, it's quite difficult to hold them in place while the hot glue dries and, uh, and cools once the horn's finished you can press that in place if you want to glue it now you can it should be quite a nice snug fit though to seal the finished helmet you can either use wood glue mod podge pva plaster dip here i'm going to apply a couple of coats of mod podge if you want a nice dark base color add a couple of drops of black paint in with the mod podge and that'll give you your base coat as well Once that's all put together, you should have something that looks like this. And it's just time to paint it. Painting, I'm just going to be using a cheap brown, black and silver acrylic paint. I'm going to start by putting a coat of the silver and a small drop of the black, just to get more of a gunmetal colour. If you've got a gunmetal acrylic paint, apply that first and I'll apply this of the entirety of the helmet except for the horns. Then take your brown and apply a fair bit of water to it and put this in all the recesses and you can apply it to the flat areas as well because we will be going over with just the silver afterwards and this will brighten it back up. Um, if you do this straight after applying the gun metal it hasn't fully dried and so it'll blend and you get nice like rust sort of effect in those areas anywhere that you think it's a bit too brown you can apply a bit of water while we've got the brown out apply first coat to the horns doing sort of a over brush there then get your hair dryer or heat gun on a really low setting just to dry the paint once that's fully dry get just your silver with either a large brush or here I'm using a foam brush and apply that over the whole thing it won't catch the recesses but that's what we're aiming for to leave the gunmetal and the brown in those recesses now to apply a bit of shading use the foam brush with a bit more paint on it still just the straight silver but apply some streaks and this will give it a real shine. And final step, take your original brown, a little bit of white in there and dry brush along the horns catching all those details that you spend the time putting into it. And that is the finished helmet. Next time we'll be building the armour. Please like, comment and subscribe and you can find this kit available on our website arkhamarmory.co.uk